I got it hooked up, man. So every time it goes higher than 77, this fan cuts on. So I'm gonna stay at 77. So my low is 76. <clears throat> and then this is at 77. So I got it hooked up. The heating and the cooling. So it worked out now. Thank God. I guess my fluctuating, because I got the AC box right here in the window. I guess it's messing with my thermostat. I don't know. I mean, with the tank. Or even when the tank is off. I think maybe the protein skimmer is making heat or the wave bakers. Ain't no telling. But that's a short clip. Hey, you guys. So this is what I'm going to be using today to cut my frags or cut my uh, coral bases off and uh, glue them to the rocks. Uh, as you know, I really don't like the plugs as much. So this would be my scalpel here, Boston Aqua Farms brand. And there's another Boston Aqua Farms brand here. It's pretty cool and handy. And I have my old super glue I get from my uh, pharmacy store. So my plan here is to basically put the acans on the rock, maybe right here. And then I want to put the bladder muso right here. Uh, I need to get that one up on a rock, maybe like right there. So we'll see how it goes, you guys. All right, plugs, gloves, plugs, gloves, plugs, frags. So I glued them on. I got my A cans on the top. I know a lot of tanks at the bottom, but I don't want them on the bottom. They die, they die. But uh, got the bladder muso at the corner. Candy cane there. I got my A can there, my A can there. I took off my uh, neon hammer out the sand. Got him on here, so there's like some euphilia thing going on over here. Got that candy cane in the middle. That GSP is still sitting there. But uh, let's see what's next. All right, so look. Frags off the sand. I can't stand plugs. I cut them off. You know I've been cutting them off. It's looking better. What y'all think? SPS down with a 25 gallon lagoon. So, this right here is a Montipora, the sunset. Then I also had my Montipora break, so I had to glue it on the side. It's a smaller piece, a treasure from the other gallon. Then I have a couple of SPS on the live rock. It's looking good on the side shot. Also got the bird's nest, it's a little white, but it has polyp extensions. All of them have pretty much good polyp extensions. Um, bird's nest, uh, style of four, sunset, the uh, uh, orange Zootopia, or uh, I forgot the name. That's my sad. Rock table looks good. Inhabitants will be joining this tank tomorrow. I failed, but yo, I got the fan on the wall. My temperature has been fluctuating out this world, so I hooked up the ink bird. So I have the temperature set at 77. As it hits at 78, the fan will cut on. Look at the coral some time later. They have uh, fluffed up a little bit. They're even fluffier now. This is a voiceover, just past tense video. The corals are doing good. They love their spots. The lights is doing good for them. They're doing even better. I moved the GSP in the back. You see the candy cane is fluffy. Got that hammer. That one is... Uh, coming you know back to life you know everything's off of the substrate you go a side shot view of the 20 gallon innovative marine fusion with the candy cane coral banded shrimp he burns this tank he's a boss straight g you gotta have one to understand the recipe another side shot so it's two islands the 20 gallon innovative marine innovative marine is a nice tank all in all that's the female clownfish right there on the top she is a bitch excuse my language but this is what I'm going to be dosing this uh, 25 gallon with. Uh, it's called the NO3 Potassium Nitrates. Uh, I do have a 0 0.5 of um, phosphate. So I need a little bit of nitrate. Nitrate promotes the colors and stuff like that. Again, these coals are just acclimating. So I got 4.5, 5, ounce, five ounces of uh, this inside of here. I'll be dosing um, 8.5. And this will give me about 
uh, a good volume to my 2500 milliliters as you can see here if you can't see that good because on the water line let's look at the 2000 the next level is 2500 milliliters this would give me about a point zero zero point three of phosphate I mean of a uh, potassium nitrate this is a uh, uh, you know RO water right here it's already been RO I put in here I measured it I've been doing some communicating with other reefers on this uh, topic here how to get my solution right I would just do some one milliliter of this inside of the tank maybe do a half a milliliter honestly because I don't want to shock my corals I used the funnel because I didn't want to make a mess but I, I see it's getting a little blocked up I guess because it was inside of the water that was a stupid move on my part but going forward I will um not use the funnel again I would just use that little beautiful cup and uh let it go in so the reason why you want potassium nitrate or nitrates in your tanks because you don't want your tank to be too clean you know I have no bio load yet inside of this tank I don't have any fish I don't have any much waste I did add two Mexican turbo snails they been doing a great job of cleaning off my rocks I had a little diatom issue but I'm noticing since this tank has two wave makers and it's SPS only that having a high flow rate has really helped me out to not have many diatoms and uh the diet times that I did have was basically saying that my cycle was in direction. I did initially was going to add 8.5 ounces, but I'm going to go with 7 ounces with my 2,500 milliliters. Just to go under the recommended dose that a good friend had recommended me off of a video. Just because I don't want to shock my tank too much. And I really don't know, understand the dosing per se. Even though I do have ESV, calcium, and alkalinity. I'm not dosing that yet because my parameters are pretty much staying the same. I'm monitoring every three days, but I do know. But check this out. This is the fan on. Remember I told you guys earlier when it hit 78 that it would cut on. The ink bird is definitely an awesome system. 78, 77 is where I want to be. So the fan is on. And be quiet so you can hear the fan on. Again, I just picked that fan up. It was twenty dollars at my local uh, Rite Aid. Uh, they had twenty, uh, fifteen percent off. So, boom.